Hey guys, it is an absolute damage dealer world out there in the battlegrounds of Diablo Immortal. BKs, wizards, necros and demon hunters are giving us hell, but enough is enough. It is our time for revenge. Follow me through this backline killer build that is a good addition to the current meta of barbarians. Hit and run fun for you guys who are focused on armor penetration and bored by the current damage over time focus. Let's kill some damage dealers. I call it the shotgun build, because it just feels like one. Heavy short range damage that can insta kill. When you are the carry you get easy 100 to 250k crits in PvP, isn't that awesome? Of course. Those get lower when enemy's armor is similar or greater than your armor penetration, but still it hurts like hell and we still have CC utility and additional damage sources to stay viable. By the way, thank you Reckless for highlighting this build to me again. It is really fun and it was fun testing it and it's pretty nice to see that these last season items are now more important than ever before. Quick look at the items. We will use essences for our main four skills, the leap, the hammer of the ancient, the demoralized and the undying rage. To do so and to deal our damage we go with the hammer. In this case we use the latest essences for it, the last whale. It's the essence where you can deal a heavy blow of damage like 60k damage that hits with a 0 0.5 second uh, delay and slows a bit. So this is our main damage dealer. We combine it with the Renitent Rage. It's the armor that for every negative condition on the enemy, our hammer deals 50.2% additional damage. Overall, nearly 61% additional damage. This is the core of the build. And with that, we're gonna deliver our damage. We combine it with the Heartless Terror. It's very important for this build to move freely to reach actually the back line. If we don't get there, we can't kill it. We need the Heartless Terror to do so. That's why it is in combination with the Dishonored Blade to prolong our duration of our Demoralize. We combine it and go even even crazier with that multiplayer. We have the Luring Club. It is a 66.5% additional damage when our enemy is stunned. So together with the other multipliers that we have already, we get another big one and we combine it with our Leap with the Shocking Chaos that actually stuns the enemy. It's just a very short duration of that stun, but as we just need 0.5 seconds to deliver it, it will nearly work all of the time. You just need to directly link those two actions. Next one for the leap, we want to use, utilize it as much as possible. We could now go with additional damage on the leap as well, but honestly, we already have, like with the awakenings and everything, over 150% additional damage. So Adding more doesn't help anymore. We could go for the new pants of the, of the uh, crit chance, 20% crit chance. It's a nice thing as well. In this case, in this build I show you, I go for the gloom. And honestly, the gloom set with the 22.5% 20, uh, crit chance, it stacks really bad with the new pants. It's like you gain nearly nothing by it. But what is really good is the cast defiance. It gives you a shield and that shield is important for escaping. Very, very useful essence. I would recommend it uh, all of the time because it's, it's just very nice. And in addition, which you see later on, the second set, the Vithus, it procs the Vithus. So good attack speed on that to cast our hammer even faster and to make sure that the enemy is still in the stun while we hit our hammer. We combine it with the Selena's Iron. It's another cool AoE damage we have on that, on that in initiation. So 
you have your hammer, you have the Selenas, you have some dots on it. In combination, it's not just the hammer that kills. We have a lot of additional smaller damages that support our kill. When you see the sets, Gloom, of course, already mentioned, four piece and the Vithus. It's, it's a good thing. We don't have a main primary attack uh, essence, but still we can primary attack. It still delivers a good damage. So when we initiate, we have a fast leap with a Vithus that is directly uh, procced with our leap. We have a fast hammer with it and we can deliver one or two or three additional primary attacks to that. That works pretty, pretty good in combination with the AOE damage of the Selena's iron. So that sets, in my opinion, is the best combination. Still, there are others, of course, if you want to go for the pants and you can, you can go here for the mount even and gain that shield. But it's a more like a time independent shield. You don't know when you have it. So for escaping, it's not the best. Gems, and especially for the chest piece that we are using, we need additional harmful effects on the enemy. So when we leap on the enemy, he already got a stun or even a slow that the leap is providing. So we have one, one is done, <laughs> but we need more. We can go with the Viper. The Viper gives a dot damage on the enemy, which is a negative effect. So we have two already. And what I really recommend here, because, because it's a crazy damage boost that we stun, so we can proc as a stun as a total loss of control we can proc the chip of the stone flash. This is another negative effect on the enemy. So you get your full potential out of your chest nearly because you still have mostly a fourth uh, effect running, but three is a good, a good thing to go. And the damage that is dealt by the hammer, if it does not kill, then the chip damage that stores another is, is uh, stores another damage of our hits to deliver a delayed additional blow so it like works in combination really really good you have a, a huge damage burst on the enemy it works again very good with the uh, starfire you have another cc or uh, knockback here to hold the enemy at the position for your initiation it's a cool thing and it is a 200 percent minimum uh, hit so cool damage and to boost our crit now a bit more because the lament stacks pretty well with the gloom or at least better than the pants um, we get another what is it eight to ten percent or something crit chance out of that um, and support our build to actually deliver crits because crits are the main point to deliver damage here okay Lastly, what Paragon should we choose? I prefer the Warden because when you go through the pit of enemies to reach the back line, you can utilize the Warden by getting a shield in that situation because you get attacked, you take less damage while walking or leaping through the enemies. So you come, you arrive at the back line nearly at full HP and can do your damage. This is just working pretty, pretty good. Another nice thing that you can think of is the mastermind. If you are in control of the uh, battleground group, you get the lead easy, you can choose uh, the, the setup and, and the classes for each of the two, uh, four teams. You could go for the mastermind and even get more critical hit chance here and do more damage. It's a nice thing to think about. Try it out. I prefer the Warden, but Masterbind might be a really good thing in this situation. The playstyle is pretty straightforward. You just activate your Demoralize. You try to pass the pit and pass the Crusaders and enemy barbarians to get to the backline. So as soon as you spot a wizard, demon hunter, whatever, you try to aim your leap. So don't just click it by random. Normally they move and you always land behind them. So try to think 
where will they go and aim a little bit in front of that direction. This is mostly working pretty good when you see they're walking straight, leaps a bit before them, then you definitely hit. You just activate your hammer directly after that and primary attack. Then you can see if you need to leap and hammer again or if you focus the next one. If the enemy is already dead, try to get back first, wait for the recharge and then initiate again. For escaping, use your leap as well. So if for that one attack your health goes down, Undying Rage is already in proc and, and it's going down slowly, use your leap. Um, so run away first and when you're at uh, nearly the end of the Undying Rage, use your leap because you definitely have dots on you. And that dots will kill you once the Undying Rage wears off. So use your leap for the little shield and then you have time to heal with bandages and initiating again. That's it so far. I hope you have fun with that build. I know it's not a whirlwind build as you maybe had hoped, but honestly, I can't get it work. It's, it's for high resonance stuff and I really don't like it in the PVP. It's kind of a bit useless. You have nothing to do. It's a dot spreader. If you have a high potency, you can go for an Angmet, Vithos combination, Whirl, uh, where you just spread your dots everywhere, I don't know, but it's really not working as good as other builds, so I do not rec still do not recommend it, sadly. But maybe I've, I'm overlooking something, I'm missing something, just post to me if you find a good, valid combination that works. Otherwise, see you in the next video. Have fun in the game, subscribe if you like, and see you soon. Bye, guys.